Okay, go. All right, my name's David. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the spin motor assembly while it's out of the machine. So, if you want to come over here, I'm going to show you some wires here. Now, we'll start with what I've done here. This connector here is the connector that goes to the speed control box. You'll see two reds and a, and a blue. Now, I'm going to bypass this since it's not hooked up to the speed control, and I've just taken a jumper wire and I'm going to stick it in the two spots where the red wires are oops, where the red wires are just a, as a jumper wire so that way this is, bypasses the speed control mechanism or, now let's come over here These, this is the black lead red and this is actually a, a common they've got it marked with a wh white wire or white piece of tape and this black wire then goes to uh, actually the heating element for the um, for cooking the sugar. Now you know this by you can trace the black wire out, it goes over to this connector and then goes to the red wires which this one here and this one here that goes to the heating element and not the motor. So now what I'm going to do, I've got here a piece of wire which is basically just a plug that I've stripped down to two bare wires. Now you want to make sure that you hook these up correctly if possible it's not a I don't know if it caused anything adverse but the white is neutral or the same as ground the black is your hot or your load wire so as we pick up this connector the center connector is your neutral and that marked by the piece of white so you take your white wire and you put it in here take your black wire and we put it in the spot for the red red spot now be careful because those will fall out relatively easy so now we're going to check to see if the spin motor will turn. Now as we overview here before I do that, keep in mind this mechanism here and this is what you have to be careful with because this is a plastic sensor. As this rotates it goes in between that plastic sensor and this is what tells the, the machine how fast your spin head is turning. So as I plug this in and I'll do it just briefly just to see if it works, you see it spins. Okay, so I know that my spin motor works at this point. And that's a, just a brief overview of how to uh, see if the spin motor works while it's on the, the bench.